it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. What Morrison's promised and 90% didn't achieve, Tesco have come up trumps. This is a can of Buxton X Omnipolo. It's the original lemon meringue ice cream sorbet beer at 6% ABV, available in Tesco. Um, the reason I mention this is a lot of you know that Morrison's promised a an Omnipolo beer to hit the shelves. Um, I never saw it. Lots of other people didn't see it. It was eight pound a bottle, and I think it's just disappeared from from, from memory now. That that beer never quite happened, but it was enough to prick the ears of Tesco, and prick the ears enough for Tesco to say, "Let's do a collaboration." Or let's get Buxton to do a collaboration with their good friends on the polo and make a beer for Tesco. I'm interested in this one. It's 6% ABV. It was £5 for a can of beer. Without further ado, let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. So here we go, one finger white head, can conditioned beer, you might be able to see little bits of sediment there in the bottom of the glass. It looks very nice, it looks very nice, slow moving carbonation rolling up the glass. Nice and hazy. Let's uh, let's get the aroma. Hmm, I don't know that one. Well, neither do I. Shall we turn that off? There we go. Ice cream sorbet. Lemon meringue. I mean, this is typical on the polo. <laughs> typical on the polo. Um, what I find fascinating is that they never call their they never call it beer anymore. On the on the polo just doesn't call it beer anymore. It's just called ice cream sorbet. Look, nothing suggesting this beer. Lemony, spicy, a little bit of pepperiness. Let's dive in. Cheers. Mmm, um, that's interesting. It's... You can feel the carbonation pushing the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's very cloudy lemonade like very very cloudy lemonade like a little bit of malt you feel the lactose you feel the stickiness of the la lactose is quite a slick beer slipping down very quickly um, it's a bit like getting a bottle of cloudy lemonade, pouring it towards the top, and then giving it 
a good dash of vodka, you know, for that alcohol. It's 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 like a an alcoholic cloudy lemonade. And I understand the fun aspect of Omnipolo. It's always fun to pick up their beers because they have such fun names and you know people like that fun aspect of brewing ice cream pale ales ice cream stouts and pecan mud cake imperial barrel aged beers and it's all but i had a conversation i had a conversation with um a, a larger than me YouTube channel, and and I said to him, "How how come you haven't done any of this kind of like this 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 Omnipolo beer?" And he come back with, um, "It's fun. It's it's a fun thing to do, but I wouldn't want to drink like Omnipolo all the time." And I think. And I still think, because I said this in a very recent review of an Omnipolo beer, I think they're in a very dangerous place, Omnipolo. They're in a very, very dangerous place of when the fun stops, you know? It's like the betting adverts, isn't it? When the fun stops, stop. That's almost like, that. that's the betting regulator advert. Um... I watch a, a bit of football and I see the betting adverts and then they put that on the end. But the same can be said for Omnipolo. I mean, it's expensive beer. It's not It's not cheap. It is not cheap. Some of their beers range between 10 and 20 pounds a bottle. Um, this, this beer here was five pounds in Tesco. Is it a five pound beer? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Not for me. Not for me. It's like they put the word on the polo on the can and then they can charge a premium. But I'm really sorry. If you really want to try Cloudy Lemonade, an alcoholic version of Cloudy Lemonade, which this is, then just pour out a Cloudy Lemonade and add a dash of, dash of vodka in the top. It'll be far cheaper far far cheaper and it'll be doing the same kind of job that you want it to do and um, the the danger i think omnipolar omnipolar are in is is that they keep on producing these gimmicky beers these gimmicky um alcoholic beer the the the, the, the yes you'll get you'll get a certain certain beer drinker that will that will like that sort of uh, of drink but at between 10 and 20 pound for a can that i'm sure the novelty will soon wear off and i think the trouble is for omnipolo is when the when the novelty wears off where are they where are they do they have a core range of beer can you get a regular omnipolo pale ale your good old trusty Omnipolo Pale Ale, or your Omnipolo IPA, or your Omnipolo Stout, or your Omnipolo Porter. Your 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 base beers that that are your bread and butter of the brewery that pull in your your baseline. What what you need to make to make the brewery profitable? Have they got that core range of beer? I don't think they have. At least we don't see it in the UK. People will stop talking about pecan barrel aged imperial stouts, mud cake stouts and and I just think I just think it almost angers me really. It almost angers me that they've had the the audacity really to make a beer like this. Buxton it brewed at Buxton. So I mean, it's not it's not that we have to pay Swedish taxes for the beer because it's, of course, Omnipolo are from Sweden. We don't have to pay Swedish taxes. This is brewed in the UK. We don't have to do that. Um, there's no reason why this six percent beer 
if you can even call it a beer, shouldn't be no more than... I've just reviewed... I've just reviewed a can of Mallow Laser Quest from Brewdog at £2.40 a can. And I would prefer to drink the Mallow Laser Quest from, from Brewdog than... And it's less than... It's, it's more than half the price um, over this original lemon meringue ice cream sorbet beer from Buxton and Omnipolo. I find that quite shocking. I find it quite shocking. I find it quite insulting. And um, Tesco, you're not fooling anybody. You are not fooling anybody with this beer, Tesco. Rating. For the price point, £5 for that beer. I'm going to give that no more than a 3 out of 10. 3 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.